First of all, congratulations on a great season. Rush for 2,027 yards. One of, I think it was one of them, like the ninth person in NFL history to ever do that. Um, but last time we saw you, you had 40 yards against the Baltimore Ravens in the postseason. You did not look ha happy. You only had 18 carries that game. As you reflect on that game, do you believe you should have gotten the ball more? Or was it just one of those situations where it was Baltimore's day and it was not y'all's? Yeah, um, they definitely played better on defense than we did on offense. Um, we didn't uh, play to our standard and how we needed to play to be able to win that game. And I feel like I didn't play my best game as well. And they just played better. They don't make no excuses. They were the better team that day, and that's why they won. No matter what, how many carries I got, um, I feel like I could have been more effectively. We could have played better on offense, but we didn't, and they won. Obviously, teams are going to try and stack the box and key in on you. And the amazing thing about your career so far is, I mean, if a team devotes enough players to a running back, they can stop him. But for the most part, including in the playoffs, everyone knows what's coming. And here he comes. And yet you get those yards anyway before this year, averaging over five yards a carry through the playoffs on a ton of carries. To me, that makes you a clutch player, even though you don't usually think of like running backs that way. Is there something about you or your preparation for big games, for the big moment, that's different than your normal preparation? How is it that you're able to perform under the bright lights when everyone knows what's coming? Um, I, I probably I don't, I don't let it get too big. I don't let it uh, overwhelm me. But, I mean, I love the pressure. I love the big moments. I love uh, being the one that you know, the team depend, depends on to make plays and. That's how I approach every game, that I got to go out there and make plays. I got to be my best version. Got to play at a high level to give us success and give us the best chance to win. That's always, always approach. You know I believe in you. You're a stud, no question about it. But I do have a concern. You carried the ball 378 times this season. You know yes, how they talk about running backs and how you reach a certain age and then that's it. You're no longer of value. You know how they stigmatize y'all. In that regard, yeah. are you concerned that you've been carrying the ball or this season that you carried the ball too much? Or is that something that you want to continue into the future, knowing that it's the kind of thing that could ultimately be held against you in two or three years? Yeah, um, you know, they always, I mean, that's a stigma about running backs and get too many carries and, you know, they start slowing down. My body feels good. I feel fine. Um, I started working out like two days after the season. I've been working out ever since. And uh, I feel like my body feels good, and I'm, I'm ready to carry the load again. I can take uh, three, 378 more um, next season, even more than that. But I definitely want to get uh, that Lombardi trophy and uh, no, have, have a Super Bowl ring. So as long as I can play, I'm going to keep trying to play at a high level and keep doing what I do each and every season and be better. Derek, you guys, every you know, last several years, are a respected team. Everyone expects you to make the playoffs, expects you to be a tough out. But I don't hear people picking you guys to win the Super Bowl. What do you think it uh -huh. is that you need to take the next step as a team? Um, uh, after making the AFC um, championship in 2019 and then, you know, falling short this year uh, in the first round of the playoffs. Um, but, we, I mean, from this season, we did uh, win the division, which we haven't, we, we haven't done in, the, um, in a long time. And I think just us falling short, just, you know, just being motivated from this, letting fuel us. Let it, uh, you know, coming into the season hungry. Uh, that, uh, the time comes around coming into camp. And then, you know, of course, free agency and, um, you know, drafting players. But when it's all uh, set in stone, just making sure that we have that mindset that, you know, being better than last year, being motivated, knowing that we got knocked out, knowing that, um, you know, we had uh, – there, there was more expected um, for us to do in the playoffs and, you know, just, just, just fueled off that come in hungry and be complacent and want to hit on, hit on all cylinders in all three phases, you know, offense, defense, and special teams. All right. King Henry, I know you're uh, sitting on your throne there. The only thing you're missing is a nice robe and a cigar, and it's fitting, staying so fresh and so clean with Old Spice Dynasty that you're linked up with them. What are you doing with them? Yeah, it's been a tough year for, uh, for everyone, and everyone needs that uh, spark of confidence. You know, like starting your day with Old Spice Dynasty. A cologne quality scent deodorant that um, you can smell ready for anything. I'm into it. Uh, Derek, who's winning the Super Bowl? Who you got? Got the Chiefs, the reigning champs.
think Chiefs Why? won by seven. Why? Be specific, man. You know your football. I need I need some more analysis, yeah. bro. Break it down. I mean, I think it's going to be a good game. Um, I think the uh, the Bucks been playing uh, the best football they've been playing all year. Um, they got a great defense. They're fast on defense. They're physical. I mean, Tom Brady's the GOAT. It's hard to go against him. But the Chiefs, they're so dynamic on offense. Um, um, they got they have so many weapons. Their defense plays cuts um, in the moments that they need to deliver. So I'm going to go with the reigning champs. But I think the Chiefs win by seven. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.